When you stretch your stuff My head it spins When you stretch your stuff That's how it begins When you stretch your stuff As you turn my way When you stretch your stuff Man it makes my day When you stretch your stuff Just walking down the street When you stretch your stuff Man's giving me Here we go, it's last week at the auction. America's favorite top 10 list of auction results from around the globe, and I am Josh Levine, your host and guide to the secondhand subculture. And if you know me, I love auctions, estate sales, thrift stores, and so should you. It's fun, a great way to make a little extra money, and the best way to keep up with what is hot is by following the real world auction results. You know, seeing what people want and they're buying, but who has time for that? I do, so you don't have to. Check these out. Number 10 is a Hot Wheels Real Rider 83 Chevy Silverado that brought $1,400 at Matthew Bullock Auctioneers. Mind you, it was still carded, but take note, it was from 2007. Yeah, something that was four bucks 14 years ago is now $1,400. That's like crypto. Number nine is a pair of Maitland Smith elephant lamps that just brought $2,400 at Leland Little. That is amazing, as Maitland Smith is by no means antique. It's a high-end contemporary design company, but when you find that name on decor at a thrift store, it's bound to be a score. Want more? That's a lot of rhyming. Number eight, an Antonio Pineda sterling silver and amethyst cup just brought $3,000 at John Moran. I've talked about Mexican silver makers in the past. You know, what is 50 bucks in scrap at the pawn shop is $3,000 if you know your makers. It is vintage Mexican silver jewelry. I say buy it, just buy it. It's not that big of a risk. It's silver after all, and it could have a big reward. Number seven, a clown bus mechanical bank just brought $3,250 at Bertoya. He's a pleasant looking fella, isn't he? Yikes. But from 1920 and original paint, that makes this guy a score to collectors. Pre-war mechanical cast iron banks are just killing it. You have to know if it's real or reproduction. Number six, a Swiss travel poster by Martin Picard just brought $6,000 at Hindemith. Original deco travel posters are commanding big bucks these days. This circa 1940 is a real beauty. And I question, who was visiting Switzerland during World War II? Thrill-seeking skiers? Okay, number five is a Vladimir Kagan serpentine sofa that brought $7,000 at Freeman's. I know what you're thinking, was that Leroy Neiman's sofa? No, it's just the latest design crazy trend. The late 80s and 90s are back. Wait, does that make me cool again? No, I wasn't cool then either. But if I rock this next one, I feel pretty cool. Number four is the Rolex Explorer MK1 stainless steel watch that just hammered for $9,500 at one great deal auctions. Watches are still killing it, even without a Fitbit in it. Seriously, classic men's watches have commanded consistent resale prices for as long as I've been tracking auction results. But check this out. Number three is a pair of Chinese bowls that just brought $15,000 at A-Bells. And when I tell you each one was four inches in diameter, did you have the same reaction I did? Wow, if, I haven't, ugh, if you haven't seen my special on Chinese antiques, that crazy Wild West market that's going on in the auction world, check out the Far East market, it is hot. Moving along, number two is Ulysses by James Joyce, and it just brought $22,000 at Freeman's. Yes, that's a first edition circa 1922, but I know there's a lot more out of there. In fact, they printed 1,000 of them. This is one that had some great provenance as it was part of the personal collection of the author Frank McCourt. But check out the condition, not top notch. Find a crispy copy and who knows how much you get. But I give you number one, this large Chinese blue and white dragon vase that just brought $150,000 at Hindemith. And continuing with my, hey, pay attention to Chinese, this Dan Ping or bottle vase was part of the Republic period. That's 1912 to 1949 and 19 inches tall. A fine example, but not what the Chinese would consider an antique. Qing or Ming Dynasty, Republic period. Now get out there and find one. They're out there. And when it's time for you or the auction company to ship it, ask them if they heard about Shipping Sane. Ah yes, a shameless plug for my friend's shipping software company. Shipping Saint solves the challenges that auctioneers and estate sale companies have faced for years. Turn shipping into the company's asset and not a curse. Curious? I got a link below. Tell them Josh sent you. I hope you enjoyed this show. You subscribe below because I have more on the way. 
I'll keep it short and sweet with all the meat. Now get out there and find some treasure. Share this show with a friend. Tell me your best finds in the comment section below. Until we stream again, my friends.